$10,000 will be donated to the general scholarship fund of each school in the name of that respective player. Second down nine. Ball at the Sooner eight. gun it was intended for P.J. Mills and let's go down the sideline check in with Dean Blevins sorry Dino you got a problem with your microphone there sir we will straighten that out and go back to you momentarily but it is third and nine Oklahoma with a fine play by Lance Gunn a senior strong safety out of Houston Lance Gunn ran right out in front of that outcut. I think Gundy threw it away. He had no chance to get that ball in there. 34 seconds remain in the first quarter. Third and nine from the Oklahoma eight. A delay. Ernest Williams caught in the backfield. Big play by Todd Hunt, number 94. Here's the draw play again. You can see uh, number 95, Todd Hunt, coming off the left side. He, he rushed inside, and they couldn't turn him out, so he caught the play from the backside. Just a few seconds remaining in the first quarter. Texas has asked for a timeout now as Oklahoma has fourth and 12. Some investments seem absolutely safe. Yet even playing it safe carries risks because inflation and interest rates can devastate both the value of an investment and the income it yields. Smith Barney constantly monitors risk to help shape your financial future by choice, not chance. Smith Barney, they make money the old fashioned way. They earn it. One oil filter traps 80% more dirt than the leading competitor. Clearly, that's Motorcraft. Motorcraft quality parts from Ford. Zestfully clean. Everyone wants skin that's zestfully clean. A girl's got to take care of her skin. And no soap is better for your skin than zest. Zestfully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. You're smooth. This Magnavox portable CD player with pure digital sound is the best thing to take on vacation. Unless you compare it with this clever Magnavox 5-inch TV. Great pictures of anywhere. Of course, the best is this compact yet intelligent Magnavox camcorder with autofocus. Unless you take this Magnavox 3-inch LCD TV, which connects to my camcorder so I can watch my vacation on the ride home. Looks as though I had a pretty good time. The ingenious products from Magnavox. Smart. Very smart. Party time. This weekend is some kind of get-together here in the city of Dallas. Some look forward to it, but there are many here that probably don't. <laughs> Brad Riddell, the punter, will have to do it from his own end zone on 4th and 12 Oklahoma. Mike Jackson, number 83, takes it at the 38. Jackson making people miss, gets it back inside the 30 before he's dropped by Robert O'Neill, a junior out of Texas, or Tulsa, rather. We always call this sudden change, where you stop somebody, you kick the ball out, they run it back down, you got a sudden change again, you have to stop them again. Uh, this uh, Oklahoma defense is going to come under duress uh, in this drive, and they'll have to stand tall and get it stopped. Well, that big defensive play, first of all, by Reggie Barnes of Oklahoma, prevented maybe a touchdown on that fourth down play. And then the big defensive play has given Tech by the by the Longhorns has given Texas tremendous field position here. Well, that play by Barnes is defensive play of the day. Is that uh, had he not made that play, they'd have gone in and scored. It's been a different story right now. The ball at the 27. Gardier play action fake incomplete intended for Justin McLemore. And was it a lateral? No, the officials no, are ruling an incomplete pass. Drew Crisp to Gary Gibbs saying, go ahead, go ahead, why not? Well, you always teach a player, if you're not sure, run it in and let the officials call you back. 
Well, the Oklahoma fans are booing, but it was immediately ruled an incompleted pass. Time runs out at the end of the first quarter with the score. Texas 7, Oklahoma 7. Just a hoot and a holler from Nashville's Grand Old Opry is another place that's home to musicians from all over the world. It's Groon Guitars, where they sell rare and vintage instruments to everyone from Johnny Cash to Motley Crue. So if you go, remember, bring your pick and your Visa card. Because at Groon, you can take your licks in a 1939 Martin, but you can't take it home with American Express. Yeah. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. It was unreal. You woke up with morning breath. You were meeting this wonderful for breakfast, and instead of minty fresh scope... Where's my scope? There was something from the medicine in mouthwash. It looked blue, but it still smelled so like medicine. I need my scope. It's okay. Relax. It was all a dream. You do have scope. It's minty through and through and kills 90% of morning breath bacteria. So you use minty fresh scope, and you kiss morning breath goodbye. This could be the biggest shot of Jeff Sluman's career. What do you think? I think you're right. Diet Dr. Pepper does taste more like regular Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. The taste you've been looking for. The temperature never drops below Xerox. That's important to remember at a time like this, when it's very dark and very cold. Ah, you did remember Xerox antifreeze. The temperature never drops below Xerox. This isn't your typical car commercial. There's no beautiful scenery, no winding roads. Hey, there's not even a car. But there is news. Geo is lowering prices on the Metro Coupe, sedan, and the XFI. So now the car that gets the highest gas mileage in America also has one of the lowest prices, which is pretty beautiful, even without pictures. Get to know Geo Metro at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Did you ever wonder why young men want to play college football? It requires hours of hard work, discipline, and tough physical demands. A College Football Association survey finds that 90% play the game because they enjoy it. And 96% also believe that a college degree is important. Remember when you watch college football that the players are tackling an education as well as a game. America wins with college football. We start the second 15 minutes of play. The first 15 minutes, pretty darn even. And a couple of defensive plays kept it that way on both sides of the ball. The time of possession even almost exactly the same in the first quarter. Texas and Oklahoma tied at seven. And the Sooners getting or stopping Texas and giving the ball back has given Texas great field position. It's second and ten from the Oklahoma 27. And here under pressure, gets it to Brown. Bill Brown with a good move. Short of the first down, but he gets it down to the 20. Knocked off his feet by Malin Wesley, the free safety. And Reggie Barnes was chasing Peter Gardere. The linesman on this side uh, threw the flag, Steve. We got a clipping call. Clipping against Texas will nullify the catch and run by Phil Brown. Joe Thomas, our referee. Offense, repeat second down. So it'll be second down, but now it'll be second and a whole bunch as the ball is moved back to the 35 of Oklahoma. That 15-yard penalty is a mean penalty. It's awful hard to overcome. Hurts even more when it takes away a gain and an opportunity for a short play for a first down. Now they've got second down and about... 18 yards to go. Drop play. Bill Brown. Breaking tackle. Back to the 20. That's what you call overcoming the penalty right there. Yeah. He just got it all back. That was a great run. That's the um, that's the counter play where you pull a here's the low angle look of this. It's a counter play. Backside garden tackle pulling. He had to cut it back in because he couldn't get to the off tackle hole. And there were some missed tackles in there and some hard running. Uh, but that play, uh, although it wasn't black, blocked spectacularly, uh, was a big gainer for him. 
Now it is third and three. Texas at the Oklahoma 20. From the shotgun. Inside handoff to Phil Brown. First down as he dives to the 15. Aubrey Beavers and Mike Coates make the stop for Oklahoma, but the Sooners are right back threatening again. Or rather, the Longhorns are back threatening again. The Sooner defense starting to give a little bow yeah. against the run. The Texas offense is utilizing multiple formations, um, doing a great job of uh, making that defense of Oklahoma guess with them, and they're not guessing very well right now. Gerald Crawford and Curtis Jackson now in the backfield. Jackson getting it down near the 12 yard line. Reggie Barnes on the stop for the Sooners. You know, that was an old fashioned isolation play. <laughs> Pass 18s are not known to run it uh, considerably, but uh, that's exactly what that was. Well, the isolation play has worked pretty well for a lot of years, though. Oh, gee, that lead back, if he can get on the linebacker and they can engage those linemen, that's a good play. Curtis Jackson, the freshman, has carried seven times for 25 yards so far. Second down, seven. Right there with lots of time. Out of bounds at the 10. Mike Coates finally cut him off as Gardere got every bit that he could. Good coverage downfield forced him to run. They kept pressure on him running laterally to the left, and it's hard to throw unless you stop and throw. And if he would have stopped, he'd have been knocked right on his can. <laughs> Discretion is often the better part of that. That's right. What you're saying. So it is third and three. We have 12.43 remaining in the second quarter, tied at seven. The OU defense has not allowed a point in the second quarter this season. And Texas is threatening. and misfiring. It was intended for McLemore, but the closest guy to the ball was that guy, Darnell Walker. It'll be fourth down and three, and the field goal unit will come on for the Longhorns. Walker did a good job of uh, playing that uh, slant that uh, Texas likes so well. Send a man to the flat, bring that outside guy down in on a mini post and slant. <laughs> Scott Ceretti in. Chad Lucas, who did a great job on the extra point, will hold, and the snapper is a tight end, David Bearden. It's a 25-yard attempt. And it is good. Texas takes the lead with 12.35 remaining in the second quarter. Longhorns 10, Sooners 7. When you don't have to send your package overnight, you can save yourself a bundle. What a difference a day makes. Two-day priority mail service. 24 little hours. From your post office. Send up to two pounds in just two days for just two nights. That's right. That's some difference. What a difference a day makes. We deliver for you. This man has two of the fastest feet in the world, but even they can't pump a brake as fast as this Chevy Cavalier's standard anti-lock brake system. Oh, yeah? Without ABS, no matter how fast your feet are, this can happen. Whoa! But to help you stop and steer on slippery surfaces, Cavalier's anti-lock brakes pump on and off up to 15 huh. times a second. Yeah, but can they do this? The safety of ABS. What else would you expect from the heartbeat of America? Hold it! State Farm tracks dangerous storms. That helps State Farm agents like me deliver fast claim service. You see, before a catastrophic storm can threaten your home, our national coordinators are tracking that storm and sending in special disaster claims crews. Our local claims people are already gearing up. A hurricane or a kitchen fire, State Farm moves fast. It's a big reason we insure more homes than anyone else. State Farm is there. Alabama invades Tennessee, Michigan meets Indiana, or out west Cal takes on USC. It's game two of an ABC college football doubleheader next Saturday.
Mazzaretti will kick it off for the Longhorns. They have taken a three-point lead on his 20.